So we'll see the questions and answers, a uh, few of them, in data structures. So what is data structure? A data structure is a way of organizing data that consider not only the items stored but also their relationship to each other. It's not only storing but relationship also is there. So this is data structure. And also advanced knowledge about the relationship between data items. This allows designing of efficient algorithms for the manipulation of data. Then uh, the second question is list out the areas in which data structures are applied extensively. Compiler design, operating system, database management system, statistical analysis package, numerical analysis, graphics, artificial intelligence, simulation. So these are the areas where uh, data structure is intensively applied. The third question which is generally asked is what are the major data structures used in following areas like RDBMS, network data model, hierarchical data model. In RDBMS we use arrays, means array of structures. In network data model we use graph and in hierarchical data model we use trees. So this is very important because you have to know what data structure because these things we might be knowing how to make it, how to you know draw it. But the question arises is what data structure is behind them and what data structure in computer science or in, in programming you will use to actually implement it. That is the main concern of a, a software person. Then the other question is if you are using C language to implement the heterogeneous linked list, what pointer type will you use? What will be the answer? Can you guess it? The heterogeneous link list contain different types in its nodes means different data types and we need a link that is pointed to connect them so if you are using c language we what will be or uh, how to implement the heterogeneous thing then what type of pointer are you going to use it is not possible to use ordinary pointer for this because it is a heterogeneous link list so we go to void pointer right if we say integer pointer, the values has to be integer. If we say, you know, other data types, it has to be that. So for that, we use void pointer. So void pointer is capable of storing pointer to any type as it is a generic pointer type. And that is why it is there also. So coming to next question. Minimum number of queues needed to implement a priority queue. This is the question which is generally asked that what are the minimum number of queues would you require to implement a priority queue? So, for that, the answer is two. One queue is actually used for storing the data, and another for storing priorities. Because priority queue is the queue which is also having the priorities designated. So, what is the data structure used for to perform recursion? This is a very simple question, but very tricky. Stack, of course, because uh, it's repo, last in first out property. It means it, you know, it's caller so knows whom to return when the function has to return. You know, so recursion makes use of system stack for storing the return addresses of the function calls. And every recursive function has its equivalent iterative function. That is what recursive function is. But they are non-recursive also. For every recursive, there has to be a non-recursive. It is not that this solved problem can be solved only by recursive function. So even when such equivalent iterative procedures are written, explicit stack is to be used. Now what are the notations used in evaluation of arithmetic expression using this prefix and postfix forms? What will be the answer? Polish and reverse Polish notations. Okay, and the other question is convert the expression this to equivalent prefix and postfix notation. Can you just pause it and try it on the paper? I am because I am just uh, you know writing the answers. The other question is sorting is. Uh, let me let me just uh, go back to the, this question. Prefix is first 
we uh, apply this uh, operand and when operands are done we write the operators uh, sorry these are the operand first we write the operator and then the operands and postfix we use uh, or we write first the operands and then the operators this is how it is coming to ninth question sorting is not possible by using which of the following methods insertion because we know there is a insertion sort we know there is a selection sort but the question arises between exchange and deletion so if we delete can we sort let us see the answer is sorting is not possible in deletion because using insertion we can perform insertion sort using selection as is uh, as i said you can perform selection sort and using exchange you can perform the bubble sort and other similar similar method because exchanging is very much used in this sorting but not with the deletion but no sorting method can be just uh, done using deletion so what are the methods available in storing sequential files first is state merging natural merging polyphase sort distribution of initial runs the last question is list out few of the application of tree data sort right this is generally asked because tree is very famous and very important the manipulation of arithmetic expression symbol table is construction syntax analysis right twelfth question is list out few of the application that make use of multi link structures multi link structures sparse matrix is one of them index generation is there right Now, thirteenth question is in tree construction. What is the suitable efficient data structure? Array, linked list, stack, or queue? Because as far as uh, tree is concerned, there is no data structure as tree as such tree in the programming languages. So you have to implement it via array or linked list or stack or queue. So the answer is linked list. This is the most suitable efficient data structure for the construction of tree now the other question is what is the type of algorithm used uh, solving that eight queen problem because eight queen is a famous problem what is the type of algorithm used backtracking backtracking is the algorithm right so in a evil tree uh, at what condition the balancing is to be done because avl has certain condition it is a pivotal value that is uh, also known as a heart height factor so this is greater than 1 or less than minus 1 this is a pivotal value this is a condition for balancing what is the bucket size when the overlapping and collision occur at the same time 1 so if there is only one entry possible in the bucket when the collision occurs there is no way to accommodate the colliding value so the result um, the result is in the overlapping uh, overlapping of values actually the next question is classify the hashing hashing function based on the various method by which the key value is formed first is direct method you have subtraction method modulo division method digital or digit extraction method and mid square method folding method pseudo random method Now coming to nineteenth uh, question in RDBMS, what is the efficient data structure used in the internal storage representation? Now we have B plus tree for it because B plus tree all the data is stored only in the leaves node that makes searching easier, and this correspond to the records that shall be stored in leaf nodes. Then what is spanning tree? A spanning tree is a tree associated with a network. Okay. it is associated with a network so all the nodes of the graph appear on the tree once and a minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree organized so that the total edge weight between nodes is minimized okay the minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree organized so that the total edge weight between the nodes is minimized So, does the minimum spanning tree of a graph gives the shortest distance between any two specified nodes? This is also asked. No. 
The minimum spanning tree assures that the total weight of the tree is kept to its minimum. But it doesn't mean that the distance between any two nodes involved in the minimum spanning tree is minimum. So what is the simplest file structure, sequential, random or indexed? Sequential is the simplest file structure. Whether link list is linear or non-linear data structure. According to the XSS, uh, you know, strategies, link list is linear because, you know, link list is like this. You have like a train coupled together, like a train. So actually it is sequential. So According to storage, but you know, according to accessing, it is uh, surely a linear one. But when you uh, store in linked list, it is non-linear. So this was a few questions on data structure. Hope you got the idea. Thank you so much.